Hey guys, out there in social media land, I'm David Harris, Master Trainer. I've been at this for about 30 decades, and I've got a lot of experience training dogs of all types, all breeds, all levels of training. I've competed in, in title dogs and agility and protection and tracking and obedience and all kinds of sports and all different kinds of breeds. So I have a wide ranging knowledge of dogs and I have thousands and thousands of videos on YouTube. David Harris here, David Harris here, David Harris here, David, David Harris, Harris here. And I get a lot of comments every day. And a lot of those comments are very, very well meaning, but they're uneducated. They're coming from a premise that dogs are people with furry coats. And that's just not true. And, and I love dogs. My whole life is wrapped around dogs. I live, breathe, eat, and sleep dogs. <laughs> Literally sleep with a dog right here every night. So I am an unmitigated, unabashed dog lover, but I don't treat dogs like people because it's just not fair to dogs to treat them like something they're not. They are dogs, they're not people. Am I clear about that? And when you treat dogs like people, you're going to make mistakes. One of the things that we're gonna talk about in this video is anthropomorphizing. Look it up. It means giving inanimate or animals human emotions. When you do that, you're really doing a disservice to those animals because they're different than we are. And one of the best examples I've, I've come up with over the years to explain how different animals are from humans is ducks. When you see a duck standing on ice, very first time you're like, oh my God, why doesn't his feet freeze off, okay? And that's because ducks are, their metabolism is different. Their body temperature is higher than ours. Their blood structure is different than ours. And they're designed to be able to stand on ice for hours on end and their feet don't freeze off, okay? So a well-meaning person looking at ducks would decide, oh, ducks need boots, <laughs> okay? And they come and they put boots on the duck to keep his feet warm and they come back the next day to check on the duck and see how happy he is that he's got his warm boots on and find out that the duck is dead because he, he couldn't fly or swim with boots on. And it's kind of a silly analogy, but it really shows how you can do a disservice to an animal by treating them like a person. So if you stood on ice without your boots on, you would die, okay? But ducks are designed for that. And dogs have traits that are Dog traits, they're not people traits. And one of the easy ways to understand things like corrective collars and how they're appropriate on a, per on a dog but not on a person would be to understand a little bit about the anatomy of dogs. Dog's skin is very, very tough. It's designed to be tough because dogs have evolved from predators, wolves. So when a predator captures its prey, the prey typically fights back. It bites, it scratches. And if the pre predator lets go of the prey, well, guess what? He doesn't get to eat. The prey gets away, the predator goes hungry, he starves, disease, he dies. He doesn't reproduce. Wolves evolved to have very, very physically tough skin with very few pain receptors because it's important to their survival and dogs inherited that trait from them. So when you see a corrective collar on a dog's neck, you're like, oh my God, it would be so terrible if that was on my neck. But you, you know, you're a human and this is a dog. And one easy way for you to understand about how a dog's skin is different is to explore one part of your body that's different than the rest of your body. And that would be your weenus. If you reach right now, and I really encourage you to do this, and grab your weenus, that's right here on your elbow, that's your weenus, look it up, it's a real word. And I want you to grab your weenus and just squeeze your weenus as hard as you wanna squeeze it, okay? And look at my thumb, it's starting to turn white. I'm squeezing so hard. I can even put my thumbnail into it and it doesn't hurt because there are very, very few pain receptors in that part of your skin. The reason, mother nature is smart. We bang our elbows all the time when we're working. And if every time you bang your elbow, you go, oh my God, it hurts. You couldn't get anything done, okay? So the skin of a dog is just like the skin on your elbow. It's very physically tough. And then you throw a furry coat 
around this whole area and put that corrective collar on and you're barely feeling it. So I think you're getting the point that those corrective collars that you find so horrible are really not that bad for a dog. It's a really important point. If you treat your dog like a person, you're not treating him fairly because he is not a person wearing a fur furry coat. And there's a lot of analogies I could get into to go over that, but I think you get the point. Dogs are dogs and they're best served treated like dogs, fed like dogs, handled like dogs, worked like a dog. All of those things apply here. And you can love dogs, and dogs are really important to our life and our well-being. And I want you to treat your dog well, but letting it be disobedient because you feel sorry for it is not a good thing, okay? You don't enhance his life, you don't make his life better, he can't go places, he can't do things, he can't be part of society because he's not been disciplined. And sometimes to discipline a dog properly, you need the right tools. And I want you to learn how to use those tools. Don't just go to the pet store and buy, you know, a training collar and start jerking your dog around. That is not appropriate. Every tool is a good tool used properly and a bad tool used improperly. So whatever the training collar you're using with your dog, with, whether it's a flat, co flat collar, a choke chain, a pinch collar, electric collar, there's all kinds of collars. Whatever the collar is, learn how to use it. And there's a lot of information out there on how to use it. Some of my videos are helpful. We're creating more and more educational videos as we go along. I hope this video helps you understand that dogs are not people wearing furry coats. They're different and they need to be treated differently. So I hope you enjoy that video. I certainly enjoyed making it.